Welcome back friends. Uh, this is the session where we are going to talk about the nodes uh, in Big Guy P system. All right. So let's get started. Let's first understand, you know, um, what exactly nodes it's all about. Node just represent the IP address. It basically resembles to the IP address of the physical server. When these nodes are combined with the monitors, this gives you the pool. All right. So you can see over here, you in order to create the pool members, you need to have the nodes ready. And then only you can, you know, go ahead and, you know, cr you can create the pool members. All right. So enough theory. Let's see how exactly it looks like. And then we'll jump in and create the nodes very quickly. All right. So this is how our lab really looks like. And in this lab, uh, all these servers you can see are falling under the networks 10.0.1.1, uh, which will be uh, under network 10.0.1.0 slash 24. And uh, this is all the node IP address. All right. So uh, it is assumed that the servers are already being configured with the desired IP address. And we can then go ahead and you know create the nodes accordingly. So let's look at it how we can you know jump into it. All right. So this is our you know tool. I mean this is our big IP system, and uh, in this big IP you see the local traffic. You go to the nodes. The moment you click on it, you get an option to create new. Okay. I'll click on create. Let's say I create server 01 and I give an IP address. You can also, you know, mention the description. Now remember this, uh, I, although I have mentioned you need to have the IP address, but you can also have the fully qualified domain name. Uh, this is, the, this is valid once you have your name servers and other stuff are configured. Okay. But as a part of our as a part of our lab, we don't have that, so we'll go with the IP address. All right, so 1.1 1 .1, that's the server number one, and you will see there is an option of health monitor. Now don't get confused. This health monitor is on the node level. I'll explain you a bit. Health monitors are the one which is useful to sense uh, whether the whether your server is alive or not. Okay, so this this health monitor can work either on the node level or on the pool level. I'll explain you the pool later on in the course, but let's let's be very focused on the node at this moment. Now, when we talk about the health monitor for the node, this health monitor will just be looking at if my node is alive or not. That's the only purpose. Nothing really special. Now, once you see the health monitor, you get an option of node default node specific and none let's quickly understand what does it mean so what happened is let's say you know let's say you define a node default okay node default it means that if a server is configured with the node default okay so it's gonna it's gonna this server this node will take the monitor which has been defined on the f5 default setting what is that let's go to the system and you will see the moment i click on the notes again i see a default monitor option you see that if i click on it all right taking some time okay wonderful so you see an option of defining your default monitor all right so let's say if i mention gateway icmp it means that my big IP system will keep sending the ICMP messages, ICMP, you know, uh, response, ICMP message request and response, expecting the response from the server itself. So it's going to keep tracking on the layer three in a way. And the moment I update it now, whatever the nodes I'll be configuring with the default setting, it will, the node will assume that to be ICMP monitor. All right. Now, if I may, if I keep the node setting as node default, that means it will always be taking ICMP in that case, assuming we have set the ICMP as default. Now, there is one more option on the big IP when it comes to the node, that is node specific. 
okay uh, specific so in this case I can be very specific about if I wanna you know use any specific monitor for a specific server so let's say I have kept the node default over here for server 2 and server 1 but for this I feel like okay I should have HTTP as as my you know monitor maybe so in this case you know I have to cr I, I'll be using a specialized monitor for this okay but rest I have already mentioned no default so you know uh, uh, it, it will by default be taking ICMP as a monitor and FI will be sending the ICMP messages to get the you know status of the server and for even for the server 2 it will be sending the ICMP message to get the status of the server but for for the server number 3 it's gonna be sending the HTTP it's gonna be looking at the HTTP S status so of course it's gonna be going through those three-way handshake and SSL you know exchange as well in order to understand if these that specific service is running on that or not all right so that's about the background on the uh, health monitor specific to the node you got it now let's come back and create one so I create server 01 I specify the IP address of it 1.1 and I mentioned the node default. If you remember, we have just set the node default as ICMP. The moment I finish it, wonderful. You see the server status seems to be green. It's because the ICMP has been allowed on the server side. Okay. Now this is very, very, very important thing. What would happen if you have enabled uh, the node def default monitor as the, your ICMP you know and you don't have the ICMP running on the server side you know this sounds horrible let's see how that works uh, let me go to the server number one over here okay let me go there and uh, wonderful so I'm on my server number one and over here and over here uh, sorry uh, so over here will be going to the you know our firewall setting this you will find in the advanced setting okay and uh, what we are actually going to do is to block the ICMP echo request all right so let me make it on full screen and where can I find this okay let's maximize it and let's go and find the ICMP echo messages request messages all right wonderful so you see this echo request on file and printing sharing the moment you go there you will find this a rule has been enabled because I create I have enabled that personally now the server is configured to allow and respond to the ICMP echo request message and that's why you have seen the server to be in green status let me block it block the ICMP message the moment I do that you see the policy has been turned down and um, let me refresh the server status and you will definitely see the node to go down and you will see a red symbol indicating that this server this node one well, it's not that wonderful but yeah I mean the our server has been down now I mean you can see the it, the status is offline and it says the no successful sorry it says that no successful response received from deadline all right so this is what it is now um, let me let me run it back let me allow it all right and let's again refresh wonderful you'd see the server has been it's now up 
and running all right so this means that when once you enable some monitors to check the status ensure that that specific protocol is running on the server side just imagine if somebody you know somebody by mistake uh, turn off the icmp then definitely this node would be down and that's that's the reason why you know uh, as a practice we don't really apply monitors on the node all right but still just to give you a better understanding about you know how 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 the you know what are the features available with big ip we can use it all right so that's the first thing that i want to talk about the default monitor whatever you specify in the default monitor will be applied to all the monitor who have selected the default monitor option let's go and create the server number two okay we now define the ip address of that and you now in this case let's use the node specific okay now this is nothing really different you know you can again choose the gateway icmp over here as well or else you can move back and make use of https as well okay now what's the difference i mean when you select the https uh, in that case your big ip will be sending probes will be sending those three-way handshake ssl exchange and all those stuff to check the status of the server on https service all right because we don't have https port open and not even the service so we'll be making use of gateway icmp as well so you can again use the same thing but it doesn't really you know make a lot of difference and you will see the server would done wonderful all right so let's create the third server server 3 and the ip address of it there's one more option we have covered node default node specific there's none as well now what do you mean by that none just mean that well i well the big ip don't want to you know send the probes to check the status of your server is it something wrong i mean is, is there anything wrong with it i would say no uh, because it would be not really looking at if the server is up or not so who would be responsible for it basically while creating the pull the pull would be you know making use of another pull level monitors that's where it's going to be sending probes and checking the status of it all right so once you do the none uh, you will see a blue indication saying that you know it's unknown i mean big ip don't know the status of it all right so we can change it to node default as well in this case and the moment we do that we would see the status of the node turn green all right so this is how the nodes are created uh, there is this is how you can even verify the status of the node when you have any kind of alerts or you know something goes wrong on your server side you can always verify the pull nodes uh, pull will be covering we will be covering in the next session so this is how you can verify the node status uh, there is one more way you can you know quickly understand what are the messages or how you can you know get to understand what are getting exchanged between big ip and the nodes so for that you have to go to the you know uh, you have to go to the big ip for that and let me minimize that all right um, let's go to the big ip this is our cli uh, for that what you have to do is you will have to go to the log file uh, this is where the log file really resides um, Okay, the LTM and I'll be wrapping specific, you know, message. So I'll be wrapping the node me node related messages and what exactly it's going to be. Let's let's grab the status of it. Okay, let me do that. And wonderful. You see the status of the pool at the same time, you get to know about when the node got up and down. Uh, I'm sorry, I would I just said pull, but it's node, and you get to know about the status of your node, and you know monitor apply as well. You could see the address, you know a message saying that the monitor status is up, and uh, ICMP message gateway is up. You know that's how you get to know when exactly, uh, you know what what uh, action has been taken and what went wrong and all those stuff. 
all right so this is how you can verify this is how you can look at the logs and other stuff all right so th there is a message saying that the license is about to expire because it's a lab license all right so this is how it all really works i hope you got the sense about how to you know uh, how to turn up the node and what are the different options available with that um, we'll catch you in the next session where we'll be covering the pool and the virtual server configuration as well thank you so much